Hey everyone, happy spring. My name's Blair and this is Laurel Smith and we're with Smith & Company Real Estate at Keller Williams. We just wanted to give you an update on what's going on in the triad market. Real estate's very market specific and what you hear on the news may not be true for what's going on in our area. So we just wanted to share what we're seeing right now. So first of all, before we jump into that, we just want to thank everybody who participated in our Front Porch Food Drive. Um, thanks to y'all, we were able to donate over 1,100 pieces of food, which is amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we were told that the amount that was donated was enough to give them another month's supply of food, which is just truly incredible. Um, we will be doing another food drive in the next couple of weeks, so just be on the lookout for more information on that and ways to participate. So here's what we're seeing in the market for buyers. So first of all, most sellers want you to be pre-qualified for a loan before you go into their house. They wanna make sure the buyers coming through are actually qualified to buy. So if you're thinking about making a, a move and want to buy, contact us so we can connect you with one of our lenders. They're saving our buyers lots of time and most importantly, money. Um, a couple of other thoughts are inventory is still really low. What that means for you as a buyer right now though is that there's also a lot fewer buyers in the marketplace. So it means that you're competing against less buyers than you would have been normally. Um, another thought is that some buyers have expressed that they may be wanting to wait to buy in anticipation of the market taking a downturn. If you're going to pay cash, yes, you may want to wait. If you're thinking that you'd be getting a loan, the advice is to buy now, and here's why. Rates are still really, really historically low. When the market turns down, interest rates go up. You'd be better off to pay today's prices at today's rates than to pay a lower price at a higher interest rate later. Later. So for every point that the interest rate goes up, your buying power goes down 10%. So if previously you could qualify for a max of $250,000, let's say now at today's rates, a one point increase in your rate causes your maximum pre-qualification to be reduced by 10%, which would bring you down to 225. Let's switch to the seller side. So like Laurel mentioned, inventory is extremely, extremely low. So more houses are being put under contract than are coming on the market each week. So over the past four weeks in the Triad MLS, the number of homes going under contract has increased every single week. Now there are new homes coming on the market every week, yet the number is fewer than the number of homes going under contract, causing a deficit. So you can follow us on our Instagram and Facebook where we post daily and weekly numbers from the MLS. Now, if you are planning to sell your home um, this spring, summer, or even within the next five years, um, now is the time to do so. Do not wait. There are fewer homes to compete with against right now. And when supply is lower, demand is higher. So talk with us about your neighborhood specific inventory so we can determine the best timing for you for putting your house on the market. We're able to do almost everything virtually and we have processes in place to protect everyone when we are meeting in person. If you have thoughts about making a move and you're curious about how all this works or you have concerns about your specific situation, just reach out to us and we can talk through all the best options. As always, you know, we're here to help with anything. Just let us know. Now, we hope this video helped clarify some of the ways that, you know, this buying and selling process may be taking place with the COVID-19 situation in North Carolina right now. Um, yet we hope despite everything going on, you're enjoying the, the gorgeous weather, spending plenty of time at home with your family and are staying safe and healthy. Again, we're still working and in full service to you. Be sure to follow us on social media uh, for updates on what's going on and like and subscribe to these videos. Thanks so much and have a good day.